Hi guys, welcome to this beautiful day. How are you? Today I'm gonna go to the beach for another kite surfing session. And by the way, I already know that the conditions are going to be decent because I do check them ahead. To film this kite surfing session, I am going to use my GoPro Hero 10 Black with the Polar Pro ND filter. And I'm actually contemplating which one should I use um, because they do come in a set of three and there is different uh, fixed light stops on them. So depending on the lighting conditions, you will choose the appropriate one. Basically, if I choose the wrong ND filter with the wrong light stop, it will affect my exposure, which I'm going to lock manually and set that way on my GoPro. So these filters, as I said earlier, are not variable ND filters, which I think is a good thing because I'm gonna be in water, there's lots of action, and I don't want to accidentally touch the adjustment on the variable ND filter and break my exposure that way. So I'm going to send you here, the link above, to my video from the Kitesurfing Progression Series Season 1 and then you're going to see a video when I've used uh, with my GoPro Hero 8 Black variable ND filter which wasn't designated for the camera but I had a special adapter so the filter will sit on top of the camera and with a GoPro Hero 8 Black you wasn't able to change the lenses so there would be the actual camera lens the UV filter built in into the camera and then on top of that I would put this variable ND filter which will create a gap and it will sit one and a half centimeters away from the actual UV filter of the camera. If you check that video you will see the effects, you'll see that the water was getting behind the filter. These filters I'm quite excited about because they're supposed to very nicely repel the water droplets. I want to see how that's going to look. And in any event, I'm going to make up my mind which ND filter should I use, either ND8 or ND16. And the choice that I'm going to make is going to be the greatest one, I'm sure for that. So with all that being said, it's about time to pack the gear. than last time and the waves are slightly bigger. Thank you. 
just finished the session. Wow, it was quite intense and I was slightly overpowered. Then I did take my 9 meter kite, so it was quite some fun. Now, I've used for this session my GoPro Hero 10 Black with the ND filter on it, that's from Polar Pro. And actually, I did decide to go with the ND 16. So I managed to capture great footage. And that's been said, I am Lassom. This is Lassom Athletics by Lassom Studios. As always, remember, be inspired, be creative, and be active. I'll see you soon. On to the next one.